Mark Faber, author of the Gloom, Boom, and Doom Report newsletter, weighs in on various current issues, including his take on the impact of Fed policies, market valuations, and whether he backs Bitcoin in relation to physical gold and silver. Mr. Faber argues that long-standing Federal Reserve policies have perpetuated the two-class system and further contributed to the development of a lot of problems around the world. A primary consequence of these policies include a considerable hike in energy prices, that is, from $10.99 up to $100 per barrel in 2014. At present, low-income households can spend up to 30% on energy-related expenses. Mr. Faber's response to this observation includes an economic system structured to lift the standard of living of most people, because you can't lift everybody. In addition, he points out that the significant expansion of local, state, and federal governments has contributed to the elevated levels of corruption and patterns of slowed economic growth. The U.S. Treasury, the Federal Reserve, and the government is one and the same. The Fed, they finance the Treasury so the government can go to war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Then they finance transfer payments to essentially buy votes so you can get elected. Mr. Faber identifies the current market sentiment as increasingly bullish, with rising investor confidence perpetuating these valuations. This trend, he explains, is largely attributed to the falling of interest rates that further boost corporate profits and contribute to the common assumption that the economy will accelerate on the upside. But Mr. Faber Faber strongly disagrees with this widespread sentiment, arguing that the global economy is actually slowing down as we find ourselves in the midst of a gigantic financial bubble, one that is very stretched and could burst any day now. What about Bitcoin, the decentralized online currency that has been generating a tremendous volume of media buzz? I prefer physical gold and silver, platinum to Bitcoin. He points out that Bitcoin is already faced with a large influx of competition, appropriately entitled altcoin. In addition, it will become incredibly difficult to determine the accurate valuation. Unlike physical gold, silver, and platinum, currently based off the worldwide quantity of floating money, production costs, along with credit, wealth, and monetary base increases.